Yeah, my name is Dr. Swago Uche. My colleagues and I have carried out a study to investigate the limit of agreement between anatomical IPD measured using the Victorian's method and the physiological IPD measured by the use of a PD5 populometer. It appropriate distance is the distance between centers of the two eyes. We've, we observe that in our clinics, practitioners usually measure far IPD while estimating the near IPD to be about three millimeters less than the far IPD. This might not always be true in all subjects. So we try to investigate the differences in IPD between far and near. This will guide practitioners also in order to estimate accurately what the near IPD of patients from Saudi should be. The second aim of the study also was to verify the changes in IPD that occur due to age. Several studies have published data on changes in IPD that come with age, but they have also been carried out either in a, sample, a smaller sample size or they have been performed in a different population and not that of Saudis. So the aim of this study was to investigate these two parameters and to correlate the changes also with the changes in heterophoria. The major findings of our study was that the mean IPD measured using the Victorian's method and the PD5 populometer did not differ significantly. As such, both measurements returned similar values. So we could then say that measurement taken by, Victoria, uh, by the Victorian method and the PD5 populometer method can be interchangeably used in clinical measurements of IPD. Again, we also observe that contrary to the three millimeter differences practitioners are used to estimating between far IPD and near IPD, the differences between far IPD and near IPD in our subjects was averagely measured to be about 4.4 millimeters. So this we guide practitioners in accurately estimating IPD differences at far and near when their prescriptions are being given. Lastly, we did observe also in our study that the IPD was correlated with the changes in age. Elderly subjects tend to have a reduced IPD as compared to the young adults. And this also is in line with previous studies which has been performed in other populations. Finally, it was important also to correlate if the changes in IPD were related to the changes that happen in the Fourier position of the eye. This was found to be true in our study as the near IPD was correlated significantly with the heterophoria, so also was the age of the subjects correlated with heterophoria. In conclusion, we can then say that the mean IPD obtained in the Saudi, in Saudi population ranged between 56 to 73 millimeters. These values were not dependent on the technique that we used, but it depends on the distance at which measurements were obtained. For this reason, IPD obtained using the Victorian method in a clinic can be interchangeably used with the IPD obtained using the pupillometer method, in as much as these IPD measurements were taken by the same examiner. Also, we did also observe that the heterophoria was significantly correlated with age. The same also goes for the correlation between age and the IPD values. So in subjects who are younger, IPD tended to increase up until the late, the mid-30s. And afterwards, a decline was noticed in both far IPD and the near IPD. The findings of this study would be useful in manufacturing of spectacles, which are made for use in the Saudi population. It would also be useful as a data for male subjects of Saudi Arabia, so clinicians can as well use them during estimation of far IPD in relation to near IPD of our subjects.